I like Star Wars vehicles, or the Star Wars design language in general. The mix of recognizable real-world objects with this bit of 70s and 80s sci-fi-ness added on top. So I wanted to try that myself with uh, a tank. And I know Star Wars is more of a walker kind of universe for the most part, but still, we get the occasional tank and I wanted to expand on that. So I mixed a few different kinds of fictional and existing tank designs together and now you have to hear me talk about it. Uh, what I mean is, uh, most people want to see builds of things they know and recognize, so an original build like that isn't all too exciting probably, but um, maybe you'll like it anyway. So yeah, um, as with most of my designs when building this little guy, I just started by uh, putting pieces together without a plan and waited for where it would take me. I only knew that I wanted to combine early German World War II tanks with the aesthetics of the Star Wars universe and kind of make it into like a logical evolution of the Saber or a Republic fighter tank that would end in something the early Empire would use. So the front is pretty much inspired by uh, the Republic fighter tank as you can see. Um, by those two uh, forward-facing uh, stabilizers, or what you would call them. Um, the upper front section is a mix of uh, the Republic fighter tank and uh, a German assault gun from the Second World War. Next to the driver's viewport, there is a blaster port as well, so you can attack softer targets right in front of you. Uh, not much going on uh, on the sides, uh, except for the guns, obviously, which are on there in the best Star Wars tank tradition, like well, on the Republic fighter tank or even the Separatist AAT. Uh, on top there is a bit of detailing, like these grill slopes uh, and uh, the hatch, which can of course be opened. Um, towards the rear there is a bit more detailing, um, most noticeably those two round uh, tile and, and dish constructions. Um, for those I also took inspiration from the German uh, assault guns, where those are basically spare wheels, but I turned them into engine or generator part thingies or whatever. Just well, use your imagination. Moving on to the interior, there is uh, space for one crew member. You can reach the inside by flipping open the whole roof section. The cockpit consists of um, two sticks for steering, a control panel, and there's also uh, the blaster peeking through there so the minifig can te could technically use it. It's kind of hard to see from that angle, but uh, yeah. There is enough space for the pilot, and there are also two jumper plates where you can put stuff on, uh, like crates, or if you want a bit more technical stuff in there, you could build something like an engine or transmission gearbox thingy or something, whatever, it's just space you can use. Um, when you only open the top hatch, you can have the driver stand up in there. Um, he just, well, he rests on his arms and uh, doesn't fall down into the the interior and he just well yeah, sits there and gets a good look around. If you would want to give this tank the full assault gun treatment, you could always remove the blaster from the blaster port and switch it with a cannon. And now you'd have an assault gun. Um, I would just remove the side mounted cannons if you were to do that because otherwise it would, well, it would kind of look a bit overkill so yeah. Overall, I just wanted to create an empire looking tank, a uh, boxy, sturdy, kind of menacing looking, something that is effective on the battlefield but also says don't mess with the empire. Uh, kind of like the occupier tank also does. But I wanted more of a compact fighter tank and less of a support tank that you could also easily hide or conceal behind cover or uh, just cover up with, I don't know, with, with like camouflage and stuff. And yeah, that's what I ended up with. And I suppose that was also it for the video. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this little Imperial tank design and um, let me know in the comments what you think and what you would change or improve. There's going to be some more videos like that, um, or at least one where I, well, I have another tank design that I wanted to show off. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd appreciate some, some feedback. And like always, be sure to check out my other videos if you haven't, and I hope to see you on my next one. So thank you for watching and bye bye.